welcome to my channel make sure that you guys are subscribed if you're not already we just recently hit 100k which is like unreal like childhood dream i know i've talked about this like a lot but like before i ever did social media when i was younger middle school high school like i wanted to be a youtuber so bad and like oh my gosh do you guys see the rainbow on my face right now wait where'd it go Oh, it's not picking. Oh, wait. Cute. But no, honestly, like, I just, I wanted to be a YouTuber. And specifically, I wanted 100K. And, like, I know I've talked about this in recent vlogs. So I feel like I'm just repeating myself. But, like, YouTube is, like, technically my smallest platform. But it means so much more to me, I feel like, than the other platforms. Because of, like, the childhood dreams that are, like, stemmed in it. And it's just, like, funny because, like, my career on social media didn't start on YouTube. And like I said, it's like nowhere near my biggest platform, but it's just like my baby. Like I just love my YouTube channel and I love making videos for you guys. And so this 100K was like just so exciting and rewarding to me. Like I could cry about it. But anyways, hi, it's a Tuesday. Oh, wait, yeah, it's Tuesday morning. And Alyssa left super early. If you guys saw the last couple of vlogs, Alyssa came and just hung out for the weekend. I was supposed to like have this Halloween thing that ended up not happening, but Alyssa came anyways. Um, and my friend Natalie was like super nice and drove them because they they had to leave for their flight at like 3 a.m. And I've just been like not getting much sleep lately. And so Natalie is like a night owl and she hadn't even gone to sleep yet at 3. And so drove Alyssa to the airport for me so I could sleep. And I'm so grateful. So thank you, Natalie, if you're watching this. I just made myself some breakfast. I'm just waiting for my insulin timer to go off. So that's why I figured I would start the vlog here. Also, I'm sure you guys saw at the beginning of this video, I got like a little clip of it, but I did in fact put up my tree and decorate for Christmas just a little bit. And it's making me so happy. I'm about to do a little workout. My juice over here. The focus has been so weird on this camera recently, but gonna do a little workout i think i'm gonna do this 20 minute 2000s rock ride and then i'll do like a 10 minute arms afterwards and then like a 10 minute abs after that that's kind of what i'm thinking i'm gonna put on my cycling shoes so i figured while i do this i'll just explain to you guys like what i'm gonna be doing today so i don't have like anything crazy actually it's like i I don't have any like branded videos to film as, unless I have like edits coming back from other brands, but I do have to post a branded TikTok today. And then besides that, I wanna edit a vlog and just it's like kind of scroll on TikTok, get some ideas and whatnot. And besides that, I don't know, I, I gotta upload my, or what's the word I'm looking for? I need to update, there we go my Revolve favorites because I like to do that every day for you guys to have some stuff to look at, especially with the holidays coming up. I feel like if you guys are looking for like a gift to ask for or get yourself something or if you need like a holiday outfit or gift for someone else, like I feel like Revolve's a really good place because they kind of have everything. So I've been updating that for you guys. And what else? I don't know. Probably just, I might take some Instagram pictures if I'm feeling it, we'll see. But honestly, like I obviously like had a guest all weekend and then I had a couple other friends come over last night. So I've just been around people a lot. And then like before that I was in Boston and with my friends and like all good things, like love being around all those people. Um, but like, I'm just ready to like chill. Like I just wanna like hang. Maybe I'll go and get myself a little Starbucks or something today. We'll see. Um, I do like, I do need like mouthwash. So like maybe I'll go to the store today. Hi guys, I am getting ready for the day now. And I literally, I brought my straightener out. I'm on second day here. So like I didn't really have to do anything to it at all. But yesterday I talked about it in my last vlog. I had like a really, really, really bad low blood sugar. And I was like sweating really bad. And so all my little baby hairs are like curled and stuck to my face. From that so I'm taking this like look they're like stuck to my face um, I'm just taking the straightener to them because that helps them like <laughs> relax a little bit I just got ready for the day I didn't do anything crazy because I'm just working at home today 
but I'll show you guys my outfit in one sec, but it's like so lame. The reason I turned the camera on was because I had an idea and I don't know if I'm biting off more than I can chew, but so like I do vlogmas for YouTube obviously and I've done it two years in a row and I want to do it again this year because I love it. I think it's so fun. It's so much work, but it's like a lot of fun and it's fun to look back on in theory. Obviously my old videos aren't really fun to look back on anymore, but in theory they are really fun to look back on and I used to love looking back on them a lot and it's just cool to like see like what did I do every single day this month or 25 days of this month, you know? Um, but I had a thought, I was like, what if I did something like that on TikTok? Like I have no idea how it would perf perform and like I don't really make content like that on TikTok. Like I very much just like follow trends on TikTok rather than like putting out original, original content, you know? Like I just use like trending audios and like put my spin on it. But I'm just like wondering like what if I did in addition, I vlogged. I did like a TikTok vlogmas. Or I was thinking like that's a lot with like YouTube and TikTok and it might get repetitive. So what if I did like one vlog a week? So it'd be like what three weeks on TikTok. I don't know. Like part of me wants to like bite the whole cake, like eat the whole cake in one sitting and be like, yeah, like I'll just do vlogmas every day, TikTok and YouTube. But I don't know. And then also like I don't think I want to post only vlogs every day for 25 days that's like gonna get really boring for people who like don't care because like obviously if you're watching my youtube like you want to watch my vlogs but like people who follow me on tiktok like don't really follow me to watch vlogs so now that i'm like talking this out i feel like maybe i could do like one vlog a week or something but then like what's the point like is it even vlogmas i don't know i actually think i hate that idea <laughs> Let me show you what I'm wearing. Super duper boring, like literally you guys have seen this time and time again. But if you guys watched my one of my recent vlogs, I got this sweatshirt in like a PR package and it's really soft and cozy and it just came out of the wash. So threw that on. These shorts are from Abercrombie. Love these shorts. Everyone always asks where they're from. They're from Abercrombie. I'll try to link them if I can find them. And then just wearing some Aritzia TNA base ankle. It might be base crew. I always forget if it's base ankle or base crew, but that is the fit. Super lame. I gotta put on my jewelry and perfume as well. I don't really think I feel like wearing too much jewelry today. I think I'm just gonna put on my David Yerman bracelet. I don't really think I wanna wear my medical ID. Like I'm literally just gonna be at home. Like what would my medical ID literally do? <laughs> also, I have like a really dry thumb at the moment. I don't really know what's going on there. I think it might be from like cleaning or whatever. And I like picked at it this morning. And so now there's like raw skin. Do you guys see that? It's like not focusing. I'm like showing you my thumb. Yeah, it hurts really bad. I don't have any band-aids, but it hurts. Cause I do so many dang dishes, I swear. Oh, I also just found out that I actually have to post a branded Instagram today as well. So pretty much my content's like covered by branded stuff. I kind of love days when I have to post brand deals because it kind of takes like some pressure off me because like whenever I'm posting the original content I have to like make sure I have content to post and then I'm very focused throughout the day on like seeing how it's performing and like everything like that but whenever it's like a branded video or branded photo or whatever like I just like post it and I'm like okay done for the day. I look at how my other videos perform because I'm like, what, what do people like? What do they not like? But branded videos, it's like, it's a branded video. I gotta post it. Also, my hands are like so dry. I think I hate Lubiderm. I recently got it and I just don't think it's working. I think that's part of the problem as to why my thumb is cracking. But also, it's kind of just my hands, a little bit my elbows, but kind of just my hands. So I'm like, maybe it's some lotion. I mean, some soap that I have because I did get soap from Sprouts, and I actually think it's kind of horrible. Putting some lotion on my new tattoo. It's like two weeks old now, but so cutie. I'm just a dry person and I'm a diabetic, so I'm like extra dry. <laughs> it used to be a lot worse when I lived up north. It's definitely gotten better living in Florida. Still very dry, but I, yeah, I don't think that's, that lotion is doing anything for me, and I don't think that soap is helping. Guys, I'm like so mad. This is the second week in a row that I got lettuce where like there's like some good pieces right here but the rest of the bag is all rotten. This type of lettuce from Trader Joe's 
has been so bad lately. Like it's not the entire bag that's rotten, but it's so much to the point where like, it's annoying to pick through, you know? Like I'm not gonna sit there and pick through 45 pieces of lettuce to get one good one, you know? Arugula it is this week. It's like my favorite, so. I just made myself some lunch and it looks so good. I'm having the rest of the soup I made the other day. You guys, this was so good. It made so much. I had it, Alyssa had it, Natalie had it, and there's still leftovers. And Alyssa and I had it twice and we each had like two bowls each time. It made so much food. Like highly recommend making this to have throughout the week and it's so, so good. And, oh my God, funny story about it. Hold on, I'll show you my salad first. And then I also just made this little simple arugula salad with some chicken sausage on top with goat cheese, pecans, mushrooms, and tomatoes. Super simple. A funny story about the soup is Natalie was eating it and she gets to like the very bottom and she's like, are there mushrooms in this? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, I hate mushrooms. But she had eaten like the entire bowl and then she's like, there's a lot of stuff I don't like in here and like I still really like it. And so I was like, yeah. So that just proved it tastes so good and it's so good for you. Soups are like the best way to sneak in nutrients, I swear. I just went ahead and made my bed because I washed my sheets this morning. But now I'm going to go start my work day. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was just editing and like legitimately was like falling asleep while editing. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I'm gonna go get a Starbucks. I think I have like stars to use. So I'm gonna go try to use them. But honestly, like I just really need, I need something that's gonna, <laughs> I'm just so tired. I just like need to get out of the house for a sec. So that's the plan. And I might run into Publix to get a Band-Aid for my thumb. Cause it's like so cracked and I put Aquaphor on it but I need something to like be on it because it keeps like hurting. Anyways, gonna listen to Steve Lacey and drive and wake myself up because it's literally 3 p.m. I need more energy. This coffee is so good right now. I took the prettiest picture of it. I'll insert it on the screen like you need to see. It is like by far the prettiest coffee photo I've ever taken. It was like cascading down the cup. So good, it's definitely hitting the spot. I don't know why I don't have like that much to do, but I just feel like, ah, like I feel like I have so much to do. I think it's just because I've had company. And so I'm like, I was literally working the whole time that they were there, they were here though. So like, I'm not even like behind or anything. Honestly, I think what it is, is that tomorrow I'm gonna be gone basically all day because I have a doctor's appointment down in West Palm where I used to live. Cause that's where my endocrinologist is and I didn't want to change, so. I take like a hefty drive every few months to go to my endocrinologist and I have to do it twice because first it's blood work and then a few days later you go back for like the appointment. I have blood work tomorrow and so I lose like my whole day because I'll be driving because it's like three and a half hours each way and who knows if I'll hit traffic. So it's gonna be a whole day in the car which kind of stinks but uh, where was I going with that? Oh, that's why I think I feel a little bit like, oh my God, I have so much to do. But it's 3 p.m. Like I need to chill out. I like, I can just do more work tonight, like later after dinner. There's no, like we're fine, everything's literally fine. So I'm going to go run into Publix right now because I'm out, I'm gonna get mouthwash and band-aids. Also just because I feel like I need to walk around. Like I have a lot to do, but I feel like I just need like a, a second to myself. So the second to myself is going to Publix. <laughs> Not that, like I'm, I'm like totally fine. Like I'm in like a fine mood. I just feel like work-wise, I have a lot to do, which I love, like I love being busy, so I'm totally fine with it. I'm just like feeling not even stressed, just like lots to do, lots to do. So gonna go run and do some errands real quick, just this, this one errand, and then I'll go back home and continue editing my YouTube. But I did just post one branded thing that I had to post, so that's something I can check off the list when I get home. But anyways, mouthwash and Band-Aids it is. It's honestly like kind of a lot later. I got back from Publix and my Starbucks run and immediately just like sat down and did more work because I just felt like I had so much to do. So I did finish editing my video and did a few other things that I needed to do. And now I can show you guys what I picked up at Publix. Literally nothing exciting. Also, if you see my weird nub thumb, don't say anything. It honestly, I think is already helping because my thumb is definitely feeling better. But another day of being edged by the mailman, I got a package and all it was was a Dexcom replacement because I've had to replace so many Dexcom Dexcoms. If you guys watched my last vlog, I've had the worst luck with Dexcoms, but got a replacement in the mail. And this is the band-aid, in case you guys are wondering, this is the band-aid that I put on my thumb. I really like these. I don't know if I chose the right band-aid for this 
type of situation, but we're gonna pretend like I did. Oh, I picked up some gum because I was craving some. And Natalie asked if I had gum yesterday and I thought I did and I didn't. And like, I gotta have gum, you know? You always have to have gum on hand. Like I said, that lotion just like was not cutting it for me. So I went ahead and picked up this like ultra healing <laughs> lotion. We're gonna see if this helps. Like at this point, I can't stand dry hands. I can't stand it. I hate when the little, my knuckles get like caught on things. Oh, it grosses me out and just like makes me angry. So, gonna try that. And then I picked up more mouthwash. I, I use this mouthwash in the morning. I only use it once a day because whitening, I have really sensitive teeth and it's a whitening mouthwash. But, anywho, gonna make dinner soon. Okay, you guys, it is a bit later once again. <laughs> I'm making myself some dinner now. It's just about seven and yeah, making some dinner. I feel just like so like, ah, scatterbrained, but like not in like a stressed way. I was saying this earlier, not in a stressed way, but just in like a busy, like so much on my mind that I want to get done type of way. But I'm almost done for the day. I do want to write a podcast episode whenever I'm done eating, like later tonight. But I also just feel like everyone and their mother is texting me today and I'm already a bad texter, but I'm trying to be better at it. So. I'm just like, I have so many texts to catch up on. I barely scrolled on TikTok recently and I need to because I need some ideas really bad. So I'm just like, what? <laughs> I have so much to do. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I think the plan is, okay, I need to decompress a little bit. So while I eat, I'm probably gonna watch YouTube. And then after that, I'm gonna do my podcast episode. I'm gonna write, um yeah write my podcast then after that uh i will get ready for bed whatever and how long is this not a focus be so for real right now um and then like just tonight i'll just scroll on tiktok don't really like to do it before bed but like for work purposes like it's so stupid like that, this is like a thing, but like genuinely for work purposes, like I need to scroll, like I need to <laughs> get ideas. I just like have been staying away from it. And so naturally I'm just like not thinking about it as much. And then also like, I don't even, I'm not even fully sure what the trends are right now. So like, I don't know how to hop on the trends. I have a few things saved that I could like work with, but I have like nothing to post. Like I have no draft ready to go or anything. And I almost always do, but I just haven't had a day in a while where I'm like doing nothing and just make TikToks all day, which like is a good thing because I've been working on other platforms, which I think is important because TikTok is just so wishy-washy and I feel like there's always talk about it going away and everything like that. And so I've been really trying to dedicate time and energy into other platforms, especially YouTube and my podcast. And even Instagram, like I used to literally never, ever, ever post on Instagram. And lately I have been because, I don't know, I've just been trying to be a more active, ow, online, ow, <laughs> presence. As I burn myself on broccoli, I'm really struggling with this right now. Anyways, my band-aid fell off, so. No point keeping that on, I'll put a new one on later. But I don't even know what I was saying, basically. I think just because I've been really trying to post Sunday, Wednesday, Friday on YouTube again, which I've been doing for like a while now, um, as well as posting my podcast every Sunday, like I've just been busier and not just like scrolling on TikTok and making TikToks all day, which like I said, is a good thing, but also like for TikTok, it's like, okay, I gotta spend a day where I'm like dedicated to TikTok. I don't know, my job is so weird. Like, why am I like, oh my God, I need to go on TikTok tonight for work. Like, that's so strange. But I bet you there's like people that like work for companies. Like I bet like whoever works for like Pepsi's social media team has to do the same thing, you know? Like I feel like it's just the nature of work nowadays. All right, here's dinner. It's definitely not cute tonight, but I don't have time to make it cute. I'm just like so stressed for some reason. I feel so frantic, I don't know. I'll do a really quick taste test for you guys. Nervous about the salmon. Air fried salmon's not always my fave. It's really good. Yeah, actually that's fire. Okay, taste test the broccoli. Mm-hmm, that's great. Pumpkin, 
made that really good this time so good good morning you guys it is the next day and i'm currently putting my dishes away it's bright and early it's 6 30 but i have to drive down to west palm today for a for blood work for my endocrinologist appointment next week i have a tupperware lid thief i don't know where they could possibly be going but i lost two tupperware lids it's just me living here i don't understand like, is there a place in my dishwasher where they could be, like, stuck? But, like, when I lost one, I was like, okay, maybe I, like, threw it away. But the other one that I lost is kind of big, and I just don't think that I would throw that away. I'm, like, so confused where it could be. Unless I, like, put it in some weird cabinet at some point. Like, I don't know why I would, but I, like, I cannot, I don't understand. Like, obviously, Tupperware is replaceable, but I'm just like, well, where did it go? Did it grow legs and walk away? Because some fact about me is like I like socks don't go missing in this house. Like I don't lose socks in the laundry. That's some weird myth that only happens when other people do my laundry. I swear. I do not lose my socks and I don't lose my Tupperware lids. And I don't know where my Tupperware lids went. Like I'm like really, really good about not losing things like that so confused but I'm going to finish putting these away I'm drinking a coffee right now and then I'm probably going to shower and then make some breakfast and then head out or maybe vice versa depending on how hungry I am after I like finish this up but yeah I have to leave by like I want to try to leave by like nine and get to the area a little bit early because I want to grab lunch beforehand just because blood work I want to like I'll be super hungry when I get it done. So that is that is the plan. Like I work from home, I'm not like in college anymore or anything. And so my mornings are like much slower and like I almost always will work out like in the morning before getting ready. Also you guys, I don't remember if this is how it was down in South Florida when I lived there because I, but this is my first like winter up in Tampa because you guys know I lived in Tampa when I first moved to florida but i moved down to south florida before the summer ended and i don't remember it staying so dark out so late in the mornings down in south florida like it doesn't get bright out like the sun doesn't even start to come up until like seven and then like that's like when it's first like there's some a little bit of light but at 7 30 the sun's nowhere near up yet not fully like that is so bizarre to me also, my shoulders, you guys, I swear, are just like caving forward. I really need to go to a chiropractor and just get everything like shifted back. I actually just went ahead and changed my shirt to just this black t-shirt instead. It's a little bit more comfy. That other one just like hugs my armpits so tight. And I just felt like it was making me feel self-conscious because it was making my shoulders just look <laughs> really... I don't even know. It just wasn't making me feel good about myself. So anyways, changed into the shirt. This whole fit is from Brandy actually. And then just wearing these Hanes socks that are linked in my Amazon storefront. I'll link the stuff if I can find it. I feel like Brandy's a little bit weird because sometimes I feel like online, do they not always have everything they have in store? Gonna make myself some breakfast. I also, you guys, I had to, to do the run of shame. I didn't have a towel in my shower when i got out like i forgot to get a new towel because i put my one i had in my bathroom in the hamper and i had to run out here naked and afraid freezing cold and soaking wet to the guest bathroom where i store my towels <laughs> ah. here's breakfast also my vacuum is like always going in the back of my videos i'm so sorry <laughs> but i have two cauliflower thins with some avocado some eggs slash egg whites, two eggs and a bunch of egg whites. I didn't like measure the egg whites or anything, but I just like finished the carton that I had. 
and some blueberries on the side. My blueberries like didn't look very good. Most of them were a little bit squishy and some of them were moldy, so picked what I could get. It's about 8.30 now. I think I'm gonna wear these because they kind of go with the green. There's a little bit of green on them. But I'm gonna head out now. I will be getting there a little bit early, but that's kind of what I was thinking because this way I won't be stressing and also I can probably get myself some lunch before and maybe I can walk around this like one area that I used to walk around all the time while I was there. I'm bringing these glucose tabs with me. I have like juice and stuff in my car, but I'm so sick of juice and candy. So we're taking a break and we're going with glucose tablets. I'm gonna bring those. Also bringing some gum, my wallet, my phone, my camera. I think this is all I need. I have my medical card in there. Yeah, okay. Let's head down to West Palm. Heading out, I right now it says I'm gonna get there technically two hours before my appointment, but um, it's gonna be probably less than that because I feel like this drive always takes a little bit longer. Maybe it'll take shorter and I'll have time to like walk around and whatever. But regardless, um, we're gonna get going. I'm kind of wishing that I didn't already have a coffee because I kind of want one for this ride, but I'll just get one whenever I get down there. Time to drive three and a half hours. You guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so I am about 50 minutes away right now and I just stopped a few minutes ago to get gas and go to the bathroom and I just got so scared. I don't understand. Men like don't have like they don't understand the concept that like they shouldn't approach women in settings such as a gas station in the middle of nowhere, Florida. Like you should just know that that's going to startle them. You know? So basically what happened was I got in my car and the, the guy that was like right behind me, uh, his car was like parked right next to mine. And I got in my car and then shortly after, he wasn't like close behind me, but he was like the next person that came out the door. And so I'm shutting my door as he like comes around the front of his car because he's about to get in the passenger seat. And he picks up like a lottery ticket that's on the ground. And I like see him whatever. I'm like, oh my God, his lucky day. So anyways, I pull out. Well, actually I sit there for a sec because I, I was getting my directions ready again. I pull out and I'm like starting to go. Like I'm driving slowly. Someone's like crossing in front of me. So I'm like waiting a sec and I'm driving slowly. And he's like, wait, wait, like flagging me down. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I, I turned to him and I was like, no. And he's like, wait, wait, and starts coming up closer to my car. And I'm like, in that like split second, I'm thinking like, this is about to be him like trying to scam me or something, or like I dropped something. Like I was afraid that I like dropped something or whatever. So I was like, no, one more time. I was like, no, thank you. With my windows closed. And he was like, no, wait, wait, wait. And he's like coming up to my car. So I literally go that, <laughs> just enough to where I can like hear him. And I was like, huh? And he's like, did you drop a lottery ticket? And I was like, no. And I just drove away. But it was so startling because I was like, this man is like running after me. But I, the only reason I stopped was because I was like, what if I like drop something? And I legit opened it like I couldn't even stick my pinky out. And I was, I was like, and my doors were locked, so it, it, it was whatever. But I was like, why, sir? Like. It must have been a winner if he was like concerned about it, you know? And he wasn't alone, he was like with a woman, like she was driving, he was in the passenger seat. Unless it was all a ploy, it could have been all a ploy. Maybe he dropped that there, waited for me to come out and picked it up in front of me where he knew I would see it and then was gonna trick me and be like, oh, come here, I don't know, you know? Cause you guys, I was, t I talked about in a recent vlog how I stopped at a gas station in the middle of North Florida and I came out after going pee and there was fully ketchup all over my car like someone had poured ketchup on my car and one of you commented and was like be careful because that could be like a trafficking technique because it like distracts you and they can like take you while you're you know like wiping the ketchup off or whatever um and that's terrifying and i was also thinking that even if it wasn't like so that i would wipe it off like i've heard of 
tactics where um, people will like mark your car in a way where like say okay so say they squirt ketchup on my car and it's like a known thing around there that if there's like ketchup squirted on your car it's like a girl that's alone and then like say I go to like a mall and somebody that's like they're looking for ketchup sees my car like they wait for me there like I've seen things like that like there's like zip ties and whatever so that's just like so scary to me like people are just so scary and all this human trafficking stuff is so scary and like now that I'm telling you guys the story I'm like I wonder if that was a ploy like what if that lottery ticket was placed there so that he could like lure me somehow I don't know why I'd be stupid enough to get out of my car like at the very least I'd roll my window down enough to grab the ticket from him unless it's a winner and so then he'd be like oh like it's a winner like say I was I was like selfish and I wanted the ticket I was like oh yeah like I dropped the ticket and then he's like oh it's a winner like go inside and, and get the money and then like I go inside and that's how I take you know what I mean like there's just so many possible scary scenarios of what just happened like maybe he genuinely did just want to help me and thought I dropped my lottery ticket but what's weird is when he came up to me he wasn't like holding the lottery ticket anymore so I don't know but that was like I got so startled not cool but like I said I'll be there in about 45 minutes now and I think what I'm gonna do is go probably right to my or I might get food and then I'll go to my apartment complex I'm not totally sure but that's my little update for you guys this drive is actually going by quick I've just been listening to podcasts but I had to tell you that story and also just warn you guys, like, be so careful. Trust literally no one. My friend Natalie and Jill had a super scary, scary experience recently. They road tripped to Georgia and back and they were at a gas station late at night. And if you guys have ever driven, like, in the south, like, road tripped in the south, you are on, like, pitch black middle of nowhere roads for, like, hours. Hours. And there's, like hours between gas stations and it's so scary there's nowhere to stop and then you finally get to a gas station it's like the only gas station there's there's never any like it's always barely lit so scary and basically they were like at a pump and Jill was in the car Natalie was pumping and then these like four guys or something were like standing outside on like the other side of the pump just like looking at her it was, I forget the story exactly, but it was super scary. And they were just like standing there, like staring at her. But like she needed gas to go because like the next gas station was like miles and miles away. So it's just very scary. So be aware, like literally don't trust anybody. Even if that was my lottery ticket, I don't even know if I would have, if he wouldn't hand it to me through a little crevice in my door, I probably wouldn't have even taken it. Like. You just gotta be so careful, and you best believe I got that ketchup off my car real quick once I read that comment. <laughs> I was like, not happening. Not happening. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys whenever I get there. All right, I just got here. I'm paying for parking right now, and oh, I don't even know how to explain this to you guys. I like got off the exit, which was the exit that I used to live off of because I'm getting lunch at the Sweet Green that's in Rosemary Square, which I I never even took you guys back. I'll do it today. Um, but I lived in Casamara apartments that are like literally five minutes down the road from Rosemary Square. And this was like my stomping grounds and where I spent years of my life. I don't even know, I got off the exit and I just kind of started to cry a little bit. Cause it just like flooded memories back in and like, I was like, oh, like I miss it. And then like, I realized I was like, oh no, I don't miss living in West Palm. I miss that time of my life. I didn't expect to feel this way. This is also like this sweet green, you guys, I went to, I'm not kidding you, every single day during the first few like weeks of my breakup, every day the kale caesar is the only thing i could stomach and i went to this specific sweet green so i think i'm just being like <sighs> flooded with emotions that i didn't expect to feel good thing i have my sunglasses because these sweet green people are going to be like this just still crying because they see me at my worst let me tell you this is so weird to just show you but 
I am at my old apartment complex. I just picked up my packages. So funny, my blanket that's on my bed, when I ordered it, it like got lost in the mail. It said it was delivered, but never got it. So they ended up sending me a replacement. Apparently it at one point got delivered. So I have two of the same blanket. So I don't know what to do with that. Maybe I'll sell it to one of you guys. And then I got, these are candles from Boy Smells that I've been like, I thought they just didn't send them, but they got delivered here like months ago. And then this is for a brand deal, but I will show you guys where I lived. I won't be able to get all the way in, but oh my God, it just like looks different. Here, I'll turn this way. Okay. So that's like the main entrance. This is the leasing office. And then I would drive over here. Well, actually I would come in this side entrance over here. I would go through that gate that's up there and that was my building right there. And here, hold on, let me pull up kind of close. That was my building right there and that second floor balcony was mine. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's where I lived. So I'm gonna back up. Um, the pool was that way by the leasing office. I'd go through that gate to get in. And then there was like two more gates. It was actually like a super safe complex. I felt very safe living here. I did really like living here, but even now I look back at the vlogs and I'm like, ew, it's kind of like ugly inside. <laughs> and then this coffee shop right here, I would go to all the time. And actually my first apartment in West Palm, I mean not in West Palm, but in South Florida, it was in Boynton Beach, had the same place, it's called Common Grounds. That was my complex. And then I'd go across the street for my hot girl walks. I lived like two minutes from a Starbucks and I remember the first morning I woke up after the breakup, I put on the song <laughs> Glimpse of Us um, and I walked my sad little booty to Starbucks and I remember the Starbucks girl was like, oh, I'm not used to seeing you here alone. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, <laughs> tragic. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's 7.38. I feel funny using my Omnipod for like life things, like checking the time. Yeah, 7.38, I am so tired. Like I can't even begin to explain how tired I am. I went to bed like not late late, but at like midnight or maybe 12.30 last night. And I woke up at five and just like sitting in the car driving all day. You know, like when you're just sitting, it almost makes you more tired. And then also just like driving for, let's see, like almost eight hours, <laughs> like seven hours today. Like it's just a lot. So I'm honestly probably gonna go to bed soon. Like in all honesty, I did just have a piece of cake <laughs> left over from my 100K celebration. This cake is so good. I cannot get enough of it. I've had a slice every day since I made it. I love it, it's so good. But I figured I would go ahead and end off this vlog here because literally all I'm doing tonight for the rest of the night is I'm about to change my Omnipod and uh, I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube. I don't even think I'm gonna have a decaf coffee. I think I'm craving tea. I might have decaf coffee, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I might have tea. I just want something warm and cozy, but I'm not, I haven't decided if I want coffee or tea, but I think I'm probably feeling tea tonight. And besides that, like literally going to bed so early because tomorrow, well, I don't have a busy work day tomorrow. I have a few things to do, but nothing major. But I'm gonna edit this vlog and get that set to upload for Friday. But I think I'm also going to vlog tomorrow. So I've been loving how often I vlog. Like since I've been uploading three times a week, I vlog like almost every day and I really love it. I don't know, I just, I love YouTube so much, I really do. Oh, also you guys, I am very excited because I'm gonna be recording a podcast episode with two of my 
friends who are also type 1 diabetics and that's going to be this week's podcast episode that's going to be going up this sunday as long as like everything goes to plan assuming that like plans don't fall through or whatever but we have plans to um i know i know i know it expired um but we do have plans to record on friday so i'm very excited because i think that'll be like a really fun interesting informative and just like funny episode and it's actually perfect because it's national diabetes awareness month and yeah so get excited for that make sure you guys are following me on all of my other social medias everything's always linked in the description i also have like a hooby link in my instagram and tiktok bio that you guys can click on to find like all my everything but i really hope that you guys enjoy this video and i will talk to you guys so super soon <laughs>